Good season two. Alright. Welcome back, guys, to the Weeps Closet. My name is Neko. I'm Jake. Marin. Mike. <laughs> and we're back to watch Ruby. We're starting season two, episode one today. And we're excited. We're excited. I really don't want to say too much on this one because I feel like most of it was discussed in the last one. We at the last of the season we were introduced to two new characters that Jake hated with all his what? passion. To I the, did not to the point that he guessed both of them immediately. I don't know how, but uh, but he didn't because he cheated. Yeah, he cheated. I don't cheat. I'm just a man. He cheated. He looked it up. But uh, I did. I did not. <laughs> But I mean, <laughs> thankfully you're still wrong because she's not Pinocchio, and and you know, and it's it's all good. You know what? I will look it up now. Just, you said <laughs> that. just to confirm my beliefs. Alrighty, guys. Uh, these uh, unfortunately for you, we're gonna start uh, releasing these ones one episode at a time. Uh, we were trying to match up the other ones just because of how short they were, and because of the fact that we really wanted to get to the actual meat and bones of the series. Season two is where it kind of starts picking up the pace. Uh, so I hope you like a little bit more condensed episodes so you don't have to sit for way too long watching these. Uh, with that said, the post scene though, we saw a big bad girl with fire coming in with two new lackeys. It's somebody's mama. And he, and right on, you did, you did say that she was one of the mamas. All so right. you think she's like a mom? She's either Ruby's mom or wife. I always or... thought that she, they were like her age, like the, the main character is just like age. For some Trying reason. to say that she looks like a MILF? Uh, <laughs> Cut! <laughs> I mean, uh, to Jake's favor, like she does dress in red as well. So I can see you thinking that she's probably Ruby's mom. So I'll give you that. Uh, Did we ever get a backstory on Ruby's parents at all? Uh, no, we no, only right. saw the trailer where... No, he, we never will. Most likely won't. Uh, we saw the, the trailer where the, there was a tombstone and it, said, it did say Summer Rose. So it, it is supposed to be tell, uh, telling that, you know... Her mom and she has roses! Yes. It, I'm just saying, like, we don't know anything about anyone's parents except for sort of Blake. We know where she comes from. Right. But that's about it. Yeah. Right. Look, listen. Irrelevant at this point. I don't so you say. I don't need to know who's who's mommy and daddy and what are their issues. Hey, you could say that about Luke Skywalker, but big biggest plot twist in any movie, right there. Okay. <laughs> when we get, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get. Okay, there. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. Is basically what we're saying. Alrighty. All right. So if that's the case, let's go ahead and start this before we go any further than that. And we're starting in three, two, and off we go. But uh, yeah, no. I, I did. I did like that. Uh, that theory of yours. Nice. They finally fixed the shop. I know, right? Oh well, there he goes. And he's dead. Excuse me, <laughs> my head. <laughs> Not really from around here. Jake's your favorite character? Me in the direction of the shop? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a big character because she's so colorful. I knew you were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut up. That's not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. Mm, no deal. Mm, fine. Whatever. You want me. <laughs> I would ask you what fairy tale she's from, but it's pretty hard right now. Yeah, there's no way I can tell right now. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, we unlocked the characters, bro! <gasps> no more, so like, very few shadows. A few blocks. Or was there none? I don't think there's one. We unlocked a lot of them! 100% nah. completion season one. We have uh, finally up uh, nice production quality. We don't have shadow That's people so anymore. We banished all of them. Master Thief! Please don't take my money. I barely have enough to get. Mm. Oh yeah, they like today. definitely like oh. took the time to make those extra background people. Yeah. Good job. There definitely is a slight improvement on the animation for sure, like on the the movement. Yeah. Of the characters. It's more fluid. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. 
Really? How may uh, How may I help you? Just like he was mitten. Actually, I was wondering, do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No. Just wondering. Oh, oh. What about Violet's Garden in paperback? He's got it. Hardback, too. Ooh, options are nice. Eh, no pictures. I have a shot hey. in the dark. Do you have any oh, God. On a green haired girl, but oh, I'm not going to say. No, wait. I want to hear it what after this. What about okay. Third Crusade? So she's a fairy tale too. Like yes. Oh, she's a fairy tale. Then never mind. All right, no, I no. still want to hear your your theory. I don't believe we carry that one. Oh. What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And yeah, I don't know any clues you're about Tuxin? her. That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. And is it like an it old fairy tale? Tuxin's Book Trade. I thought it was a his. Oh, my yeah, guess was a historical story. Except the Third Crusade. But, I still want to know what your thing is. It's false advertising. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep. Ooh, see? False advertising can get you killed. You're planning on leaving. Moving all the way to Vacuo. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. And neither are we. That's a handy freaking light. You know who we are, don't you? Yes. And you know why we're here? Yes. Is there a reason why she has green hair? Are you going to fight back? Yes! Oh! Mint ice cream. Mint, mint ice cream. Uh -huh. Did he just shoot him with his leg? Mm. What's with that? Eh, I like the pictures. Doing? Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. <laughs> Blame. <laughs> See, this is why I like Nora. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sisters, friends, wives. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she said, "Hey." A dream. <laughs> this ought to be good. Mm. A dream that one day. The four of us would come together as a team and have the most fun anyone has ever had, ever. Did you steal my binder? I am not a crook. What are you talking about? Pull the Nixon on him. About kicking off the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with a yang. Eh? Ha. Huh. Got it. <laughs> Look, guys, it's been a good two weeks, and between more exchange students arriving and the tournament at the end of the year, our second semester is going to be great. But. Classes start back up tomorrow, which is why I've taken the time to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. I don't know whether to be proud or scared of what you have in store. That's bigger than the Bible, y'all. Come on. <laughs> I think I might sit this one out. Sit out or not, I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. I, for one, think that... <laughs> It's definitely not him. It's definitely Nora. <laughs> Come on. And she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but it was awesome. Nice. Right? So Sun is hanging around is, Beacon now? Sure. But that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second Sun turns his back secret. I'm oh, I'm sorry, is that a spoiler? Secret. No. Oh, chill out, man. Okay? I got no. The... So mysterious about everything, Neko. I try to be. I just don't want to screw this up, you know? It was told in the other oh. one that... No offense to you guys. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, <poor John. laughs> the uh, other schools are coming to Beacon for the oh, Vital yeah. Festival. Dude. Good point. <laughs> Jesus. That's Justice awesome. Is that one of their bucket lists? Uh, maybe. Most likely. Like, just do a food fight? I, will, I would have loved to be in a food fight as epic as this. Apparently, it's just not as realistic as you would. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey gauntlets. 
<laughs> Those baguettes it must be really hard. <laughs> it's like a pan salao from Puerto Rico. I mean, a uh, pan de agua. And then when they dry it up, they're like rock solid. Yeah, yes, you have no idea. Oh, she did. <laughs> There's some explanation later as to why that, you know, they're not breaking as easily. Oh, she died. She did. She made her own hammer, what the fuck? No. <laughs> oh my she god. She made her own. Okay. Yeah, they have their weapons. <laughs> okay, okay. Damn, that watermelon must be really long solid. Dude, death right there. Since the beginning of the yeah. <laughs> he got knocked out on the window. <laughs> oh. oh, he got knocked out again. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is dead That's right there. like a hazard. Come on, guys, like plates. <laughs> Good art. I love these guys. Oh. Y'all expel! Expel! You, you, and you! I mean, I'm surprised they, uh, they don't get because they broke the whole thing. It's probably not a big deal because you can fix it. Like, who's paying for this? Community service! Children, 30 please hours. Please do not play with your food. Still yeah. She's back. <laughs> Let it go. <sighs> They're supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. I mean, that was pretty damn right cool for food. Children. <laughs> so why not? I know, them? right? If kids can do that with food, imagine with actual weapons. Yeah. <laughs> After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. Foreshadowing much? Oh, look, she sent the kids again. This is turning out just like the divorce. Oh. Spare us the thought of you procreating. That <laughs> was a joke. And this just might tell me where you two have been all day. What? Uh. I'm a professional, sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Oh. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them, at least. I had that under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of bail said otherwise. Listen, you little punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here, and I would... Do what? I could barely hear that. That was a lot of echo. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, uh, not kill them? Cinder! I thought I made it clear that Cinder. you were to eliminate Ella. <laughs> I was 
going to... He was going to escape to Vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. Gaslighting. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. What? Like a puma? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Quiet. That's actually an easter egg to one of the red and blues. I instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in veil. <laughs> I just thought... Don't think. Obey. <laughs> I like so, Torchwick. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Won't happen again. And you. <laughs> Why wasn't this job done sooner? Uh, 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 uh. Sorry if I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, kid. I've got this town running scared. He's camping out at every corner, dust prices through the roof, and. We're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, vials, and rounds, and we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know. You. Uh. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay, then what now? We're moving. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? We're proceeding to phase two. Because it's season two. I guess volume, but... There you go, Meryl. Oh. I was like, was Meryl seeing that? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so good, you know? She's going to hell sure, on it. Sure, it's me. I do like this song better than the first one, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Now they're going all anime on their openings. Yep. Nice. Nice. So do we start a, a, a food fight soon? No. No. Fuck no. No, because you're all gonna clean it up. <laughs> we don't have magical powers for cleaning. Uh, you, you got a point. Um, so what was your theory on the character? I'm curious. I don't have a theory. I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. <laughs> sir, you cannot play me like me. Uh, no, but what was your what was your uh, what what do you think she alluded to? Um, I it was really just a shot in the dark. Like when you said, I was thinking a historical figure, and okay. you, you said uh, fairy tale. And I mean, she get, said fairy tale. I didn't say fairy. Well, you tale. nodded. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my fuck! <laughs> <laughs> my guess was Cleopatra. Okay, I can see why. Yeah, I mean that. She's like a foreign in the hair cut, kind of. And the yeah, the things that she's wearing, cause she's wearing some. Uh, I can. She I can just, she, just, she just gave me the mint chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but that hair is way way too green, and it's just it's just giving me those vibes. Yeah, the, the I, I, dig, I dig it. Green. You asked me the why the green hair, or if we have to do with it. Yeah, it really yeah. doesn't. It's, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it was you then. Um, it was because of uh, her name, Emerald. So that's why she, you know, it's to allude okay, to her okay. own name. Okay, okay. Uh, Mercury is the only one that I, I keep forgetting because, like, his uh, allusions or whatever he uh, comes from, it's so, like, not concrete. It is, but it's not. So it's it's for it's hard for me to match and, for, and remember. I do know Emerald and I do know Cinder, which is freaking hilarious that y'all, like, said it, like, immediately. <laughs> Ella? Yeah, Cinderella. The, the biggest giveaway was her glass slippers. Or mm -hmm. her glass, uh, whatever. I didn't even... I didn't even see those the glass slippers. It's just Cinder, and now I just wanted to say Ella. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, funny enough... And then, uh, Mercury. Easy. His, his backstory, right? You know, bef before he, uh, you know, tried to do this, all this evil stuff, he was a sailor. So... <laughs> 
Oh, uh, whatever, guys. No, before I like, before, I like my joke. <laughs> before Ruby, he was obviously a planet. Duh. Right? <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Gosh, I mean. I was thinking more of the the liquid mercury. I mean, he, he was they, a thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a toxic substance. <laughs> it is silver, so I think mercury isn't mercury silver. To a certain degree, like the actual liquid. I thought yeah. it was. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in a, it's a thermometer. <laughs> The thermometer one is red, but that's different. No, okay. oh, you haven't seen a thermometer with like silver mercury in it. No, nah, I've only seen it with the red one in the middle. But I know that the liquid is it's uh, silver because I've seen Action Lab. Wow. I, I've, I've, I remember the first time I got introduced to mercury. Um, I was trying to take my temperature, and I was like shaking the, the thermometer a little bit too hard. You... I broke it, and then I saw like all these little like droplets falling out so i was like oh my god i gotta pick it up and it disappeared and i was like what the fuck where did it go <laughs> wow. then later i told my mom and i was like yeah that's mercury have a little bit too much in your body you're gonna die and it's like mm, no yeah. taken that, that's why <laughs> i don't like dolphins have it so you cannot eat too much dolphin or something like that i didn't, dolphin. Know, that, I didn't know you can eat dolphin i mean some people do episode two <laughs> <laughs> hey, some people do uh nonetheless uh, I did. I did like. I like the food fight was amazing. Uh, the the reason why the the food were stale, you know, it's gonna be explained later on, and it's actually gonna be explained in one of the World of Remnants, which I think people we will want us to watch. I'm still waiting for the comments to tell us exactly at one point we're supposed to watch it. If not, I guess we gotta figure it out. Uh, nonetheless, uh, issues happen soon here in season two, season three. Oh, and. Keep in mind, season three, I'm not going to show you the, the intro. I don't think I'm going to show you the intro until later. And that's going to be the same thing in every single season afterwards. This one doesn't have any spoilers in it to a degree. So that's why I played it. Okay. Anyway, it's great. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out who Emerald is. Yeah, no, you, you, it's going to take you forever. Is Trust she me. from Aladdin? Is she uh, from... It, it's going to take you forever. Is she from 1001... <laughs> Like 101 Dalmatians? <laughs> no, 1,000 Nights Arabian I, Nights. I could see her being Jasmine because she's could, named could after Could she be Sharsad? Uh, I'll just say this, and it is that I'll let you know whenever your shoe really start guessing. I don't uh, have to guess nothing. I just enjoy it at face value. That that works too. It's the only fairy tale I can think of is Sharsad. Is she from the Jungle Book? <laughs> <laughs> see, I... From now, from now on, I'm just gonna let y'all like y'all need to be like decisive on it. And the one that y'all are decisive on it, like there's no way in hell. Then yeah, because okay, well, I, there was I gave no you... way in hell that Penny wasn't Pinocchio, but you were still like, I don't know. I don't know about, about Penny though. <laughs> She's not. That, that's the only one that I'm. I'm gonna like, you know, still be kind of. Wait, so it's not Pinocchio? It is Pinocchio. Okay, stop messing with my fucking brain. <laughs> Jake, just look it up next time and just like just. <laughs> give, it, give it to him straight. Just just hit him in the face with my phone. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want you to get slapped by the community, uh, community, and not me. I say it like that. I'll probably get roasted by the community. Watch it not be Pinocchio in the comments. Just gonna be like, "Jake, it's so fucking dumb, bro. I'm done with Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be part of this community." <laughs> That's hilarious. No, but uh, well, that's it because we really have nothing else to do, to say about this one. It was a great starring episode. It gave a lot of action. We're gonna wait to actually ca carry on with this episode, uh, this season. So we, that, that's what's 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 what this was you want? This was the Whip's closet. Sign it off. All right, we're out. Thank you guys for joining us on another Weeps Closet reaction. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. See you in the next one.